So, the next entry in the Time Lord Victoria series is the annual. Um, I don't really collect these, um, at least not in recent years. I do like the ones that they um, release on the uh, Blu-ray sets, these ones, um, because they have all the, um, the original annuals that were released during that year. Um, and uh, they actually have some substance in them. Yes, they, they are made for kids and, you know, I won't deny that. Um, so, you know, you've got the, like, the simple puzzles and colouring and things like that. So that kind of thing doesn't appeal to me. Um, so this isn't really for me. Um, it's not made for me. It's made for children. Um, however, there's nothing original in it's pretty much an episode guide of the recent series. Not a good one at that. Um, it's done as it, as if the uh, characters were writing in a diary or something like that. Then it gives you um, pictures of the monsters and things like that, which you know is interesting, but there's not much substance there, um, and it's a little bit disappointing in my opinion. Um, I would have liked um, maybe a bit more original content, a bit maybe another story in there or a comic or something like that you know even if, if it was for kids i would think that would be quite interesting um you know like they did in the old annuals but these ones one ones just nothing in them really the only reason that you would want to buy this i think would be for the uh, time lord victoria segment at the end um which kind of feels out of place actually to be honest um you've got um the uh the rest of the book being about the most recent series, um, it does have a little bit of segment on the uh, on the master, um, and it's got these old faces and things like that, which you know harkens back to previous series. But all, on the whole, this is this is about you know series twelve. Then you have the end segment, which just is Time Lord victorious. Um, it would have been nice to maybe sprinkle that throughout the book, make it feel like a cohesive whole. Um, so uh, that might have been more interesting. Um, the Time Lord Victoria segment is styled like a newspaper written by River Song as Melody Malone. And it's more uh, better than the rest of the annual put together, I think. Um, it does include segments on various aspects of things that are coming up in Time Lord Victoria. So some of the uh, um, monsters or beings that will be featured. Um, often a lot of the more powerful beings that have been represented throughout the history of the show, such as the Eternals, such as um, the Demons, such as um, the Great Vampires and things like this, which I'm quite excited for because you're entering essentially the godlike territory of Doctor Who, which is just brilliant. Uh, you know, you might even, it doesn't say anything about the Guardians here, but you know, that might be interesting. I mean, Guardians are technically the immortals, aren't they? Um, so, you know, they may be classed as like Eternals and whatnot, but uh, things like that, it'd be quite cool, interesting. I'd, I'd like to hear more about that. So this is kind of setting a precedent to um, what kinds of things we can maybe expect in the series. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, it does give a uh, profile on some of the new uh, creatures that you'll be seeing um, and that we should be reading, listening about, watching, whatever. Um, so, yeah, overall better than a comic, simply because it's not really styled as a story, so you don't read it as a story, but it's essentially exposition. But as it's not part of a story, you don't feel it, it's, it doesn't feel boring. Um, but it's definitely informative, um, and if it's anything to go by, yes, I am still looking forward to the series. The comic hasn't put me off entirely, um, but we will see about that. These are a lot to go on at the moment. We will have the next one, I believe, will be um, the comic in Doctor Who magazine. See what that's like. That's with uh, the Ninth Doctor. Um, so that'll be interesting. We'll see what that's about. Um, but I think the first major thing we're going to have is the first book. The Night, the Fool, and the Dead. Um, so that'll be a, a, you know, a complete story. Um, it'll have probably have a bit more substance than a comic can have, 
Um, so we'll see what's, what's in that. Um, and then of course we've got a couple of short trips from Big, Big Finish and we'll see what all they're, they're about as well. So yeah, as I say, still looking forward to it um, and seeing where they go with this story.